so today I'm going to film my wax melt empties video. Um, I've accumulated my wax melt empties from the past like I think week and a half or, or two weeks since my last one. So let's just jump into it. Um, I'll first start with a few non-wax empties. So the first one is just this Bath and Body Works shower gel. So here's what it looks like. Again, this has to have been from some semi-annual sale. I assume it was from the summer beachfront blanket. And it says, um, summer days spent in the sunshine on a cozy beach blanket. Key notes, fresh white linen, summer sun rays, and soft musk. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I really enjoyed it. I guess it does kind of smell like a clean kind of beachy linen scent. Um, I really like it. It's funny though, Bath and Body Works stuff. I never go by the keynotes on the Bath and Body Works products. Typically, I just go by like scent. Um, I mean, this one I probably would have picked out just by the scent notes, but there's a lot of things from Bath and Body Works where I just feel like I wouldn't pick out because of the scent notes, but I picked it out because I just smelled and it smelled good to me. So here's one, for example, that I don't feel like I would have picked out had I not smelled it in person. I had to have gotten this a year or two years ago. I I don't really buy candles anymore. I'm kind of trying to use up what I have, which isn't too much. Um, this one is White Barnes Autumn Woods. Again, this had to have been from some like candle sale like a year ago or something. It says dark walnut, English lavender, white amber with essential oils. I just I just do not feel like I would have bought that based off of the scent notes. It smells really good to me. Like, I don't really get lavender, but maybe English lavender is a, a slightly different twist on lavender that I'm not used to. White amber, I mean, I definitely get like a woody note. Um, amber though, isn't that more of a perfume? Dark walnut, I mean, I'm not sure if I smell like a walnut, but to me, it, it does smell like a wood scent, which the name says Autumn Woods. Um, but yeah, it kind of reminds me of a woody cologne scent um, because it kind of leans masculine to me. And this one was strong. I mean, I didn't have any wax melts going at the same time unless it was something that was starting to die down in scent and I just didn't change it. But this was super strong where like, I wouldn't want another competing scent with it. It was very strong. I kind of feel like last year at some point I must have wiped off the soot because I feel like there's no way it burned this clean. I don't know. I just really doubt that. Um, the wicks did get, a, like when I pulled this out this year, the wicks were small. I don't even recall like knowing about the cotton ball method really before. Usually what I would do is if like there was too much wax and not enough wick, I would take like a popsicle stick and like scrape what wasn't like melting or burning evenly. I feel like I did that last year, but this year when I started burning it, I do remember cotton balling it the first burn. I wanna say there was like half left that I went through. And after I did the cotton ball method, maybe like one or two or three cotton balls, I feel like it burned pretty evenly um, and I just let it burn out. But like I said, um, I really, really doubt it burned this cleanly all the way through. I'm kind of like OCD when it comes to like candles and like appearance and stuff. So I'm pretty sure I probably wiped it with like a paper towel or napkin or something at some point during the burn. But yeah. It was pretty good. I mean, I didn't wipe it this year when I when I burned it, but I just feel like I probably did that last year before I put this away. But this was good. I liked the scent. I don't think I'd repurchase this only because I'm not really like into the candles anymore. The only candles I burn are the tea light candles because of my tea light wax warmers. But yeah, this was good while it lasted. I enjoyed it. My husband said he liked the smell. So anyway, I feel like I talked a lot about that one. Um, moving on, I'm just going to start pulling out of my basket. I feel like I usually start this way, but I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do it again. I'm going to start with my clamshells. Um, the first ones I'll start with is Walmart. The first one I have is Better Homes and Gardens. And this is Rosemary and Spearmint Aromatherapy Wax Cubes Essential Oil Infused. 
This was kind of interesting. The wax was sort of a weird like crumbly texture when I opened it. Um, but it was really, really pretty. Great bedtime scent. I will say when it warmed, I definitely got the spearmint the strongest, if anything. Like, no, I mean, number one. I thought it was pretty, but it definitely did smell like the, the spearmint gum. Um, I mean, definitely reminiscent of that. So if you don't like the spearmint gum or if it's like you like spearmint but mixed with something else, this probably isn't it because I don't think I got much rosemary with it. Um, it was really good though. I enjoyed it. I left this in the warmer probably two or three nights because like I said, when I do these mint scents in the bedroom, typically I only have them on at night, like five o'clock to nine or 10. So I feel like usually because of that, I can keep the scent in there for a couple nights in a row. And this definitely lasted two or three nights before I changed it. But like I said, the texture of the wax, the hard wax, when I was breaking out the chunks, it was a little strange. I mean, it's fine. I don't know if it's because of the essential oil infused that made the wax texture a little different, but I enjoyed it. I don't think I'd buy it again only because um, Spearmint's not like my favorite mint. I enjoyed it, but um, but I don't know if that's like an immediate repurchase. Um, the next one is P Apple Pumpkin... <laughs> Apple Pumpkin Mainstays. This was like a really skinny thing. I think I did two cubes in each warmer, so I had this in like three warmers. Um, but yeah, this was really good. Um, really nice. Lasted a full day long for sure. I loved it and it was a great full scent. It's just not like super out of this world. I mean, it was an apple and pumpkin wax melt. I mean, it was good, but not too like dimensional but good i'd say this was like a three scent wise like i enjoyed it it was like you know i liked it i wasn't wowed by it but i also didn't dislike it but throw was good i'd probably say throw was like a four or five again five being like the best so good i wouldn't immediately jump to buy that again but maybe like i'd rebuy it next year like for the fall season um, the next one is another Better Homes and Gardens Farmhouse Pumpkin Patch. Pumpkin, sweet apple, spice, brown sugar, and vanilla scent notes. Um, this one was good to, um, what did I write? Oh, my notes kind of like disappeared on me. Um, there's definitely a spice in this, but it's not like a cinnamon sugar, cinnamon spice. It's like I'm not sure if it's one of these, but I'm just guessing like maybe like a nutmeg or a clove. It's it's definitely got spice. It says, and it does say spice, but it doesn't specify what. But yeah, something on those lines. I also definitely got pumpkin and maybe a little bit of apple when I warmed it, but definitely like spice heavy to me. Really good solid fall scent. Again, kind of like the apple pumpkin, but Again, not like an immediate repurchase or anything, but solid fall scent. I'd say this was like a three scent wise and like a four throw wise. Um, the next ones I will go into, I think I only have one of these. So I warmed this little sassy girl aroma sample scent in wild cherry. Like I said, when I smelled it on cold, this is like, I, I enjoy a cherry scent, but this is straight up, like, even if you enjoy a cherry scent, I think you'd agree and say this is more on the lines of, like, a medicine cherry scent. And that's how it translated on warm, too. I think this could have lasted longer, but I just didn't like that medicine cherry scent, so I changed it after a couple hours. But, I mean, if you like that scent, this was great, and I think it threw pretty well. I just, I just didn't love it. Um, I have one Bodies Harmony, do I have one? Yeah, I think just one, which is Blueberry Apple, which this was in my little like apple sampler. Um, this is Blueberry Apple, Mac Apple, Blue Raspberry Jolly Rancher, and Salty Sea Air. Salty Sea Air. This was really good. I mean, it's funny it says Blueberry Apple because Mac Apple, I mean, it's blue raspberry jolly rancher but it's not blueberry so it's just funny that that's the scent note because i was thinking blueberry apple 
but it really wasn't blueberry. Um, I really liked it. I totally feel like you got that. You got the apple. Um, let's see. I know I wrote down a note. You got the apple. You definitely got that kind of candy Jolly Rancher scent. I don't know if I particularly pinpoint the blue raspberry Jolly Rancher, but you definitely got some kind of candy sweetness in there. But I also feel like there was some kind of freshness from the salty sea air. So I actually really liked this one. I was just thrown off a little bit by the name versus the scent notes because there is no blueberry in the scent notes. But it was surprisingly good. I did this on a tea light just because it's only this scent shot cup and I really wanted to smell it. Um, so I think the scent, like to me, it was like a four. The throw was probably like a three or four. Pretty decent. Um, and I, I enjoyed it. Um, the next two I'm going to do are these two Glow Scents Candle Co. scent shots. I feel like I'm pretty much through all my scent shots by now of the ones I purchased like, you know, in June, July. Um, I, I get, I'm nothing, no reason in particular besides I just don't love the scent shot, like, format of wax. Um, but the first one is Pumpkin Souffle. This was really good. I mean, your typical pumpkin bakery scent. I don't think it was anything like too special or out of this world, but I definitely enjoyed it while I warmed it. Um, I smelled it a good couple hours. I would say this is like a three all around scent and throw wise. Um, but yeah, a good pumpkin bakery. And then I have caramelized pralines, which actually this one's kind of funny because to me, now that I know what some vendors pumpkin pecan waffles smell like, I actually kind of thought this smelled like pumpkin pecan waffles a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed this. I think the scent was super good on cold, but I was a little disappointed with the throw. I don't feel like I smelled this much unless I was like super close up to my warmer. So the throw was probably more like a two. Um, so I wish this one was stronger, but it, it smelled good on cold. I'm going to do a few of my Southbound Candle Co. things. So the first two are clamshells. The second two are bakery bags. So here's the first one. Sugar cookie latte. Freshly baked sugar cookies with sweet vanilla, roasted coffee beans, and sweet cream. I liked this one. If I were to purchase it again, it would be in the bakery bag form. I, I don't think I'm going to ever purchase clamshells again from Southbound. I just don't like clamshells. Like, it's not really from Southbound in particular. I just feel like a lot of the time I'm just sort of disappointed because I can always smell just a slight plastic note. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I know I have a, lot, a big order from the bathing garden coming soon, and those are clamshells. We'll see. But anyway, so... Like I said, I just feel like I had this slight plastic smell on cold. I will say when I warmed this, I didn't get a plastic scent at all. So I just, I really think it's the packaging. And I kind of have a theory, like, I wonder if because, like, vendors pour the hot wax into the plastic molds, if the hot temperature of the wax somehow releases some of the plastic chemically sent from the clamshell packaging? I don't know. That's kind of my only like thought behind why I always get that slight plastic note. Um, but this is really good. Um, definitely had that slightly like to me, I almost smelled like a slightly caramel note, but it maybe, you know, maybe that's just because it's sort of a sugar cookie bakery kind of a scent. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really liked it. Like I said, if I were to purchase this again, it would be in a bakery bag. Um, but yeah, I'd say the scent was like a three or four. I definitely enjoyed it. And the throw was probably like a three. I did it on just like bulb or element warmers. If I did it on a tea light, it probably would have been stronger, but yeah. So that's that one. Next one on the same lines, this one's Snickers coffee cookies, creamy caramel coffees, peanuts, milk chocolate, and creamy vanilla sugar cookies. Um... So yeah, this one was really good. I actually think I might have liked this one a little bit more than that Southbound, that Southbound, yes, we're on Southbound, than the Sugar Cookie Latte, only because I just feel like this one was a little bit more like dimensional in the scent notes. So this one had a really good chocolatey, 
you know, Snickers rich creamy scent. I mean, obviously it's Snickers coffee cookies, but really good. To me, it definitely wasn't heavy on the coffee. I feel like it was definitely heavier on more of the sweet Snickers chocolate side of it, but I really enjoyed it. I did this like on a tea light warmer as well as on my different element and bulb warmers throughout my living room area and it was really good. I mean really strong. When I'd walk in past into the living room I definitely was hit with this scent. So I would say the throw was like a five out of five. Again though it might be because I had some of it on that tea light warmer which really amps up the scent. Um, if I had to say oh yeah I said I had this on two light warmers going so it was probably really strong because of that reason. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like I would maybe rebuy this again if I saw this in a pre-sale, but again, in a bakery bag, probably not a clam. Um, I almost even too got like a slightly like s'mores kind of a note. Like I just feel like I got that chocolatey bakery kind of a scent. Um, but yeah, I mean, I liked this. I will say this one, I don't feel like I got as much of a plasticky note on cold. The, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> well, let me take a sip of water. Okay, sorry about that. But yeah, I think um, the sugar cookie latte, for some reason, I smelled a little bit more plastic on that one. The next ones, like I said, are bakery bags. So um, yeah, I wrote a lot of notes. So the first one is Dream Weaver, fresh apple, dewy flower petals, beautiful day, which is a Bath and Body Works type, clean, fresh linen. Let me tell you. So the first time I used this um, scent, I was not impressed. It smelled so good on cold, but I got zero scent throw. And I almost was just going to go through it with all the warmers and just use it to get rid of it. But I'm actually so happy that I waited and didn't do that because giving it another like two months of cure time really helped. I mean, the next time I warmed this, I just wanted to keep warming it because it smelled so good in the bathrooms. Um, I mean, it was like amazing. It lasted all day. So I'm super happy with this. I just think with Southbound, I've had really good luck with Southbound besides this one, but that's because, I don't know, I just think maybe this one, kind of this perfumey scent just needed more cure time because then it was like amazing. Um, so um, to me, it was kind of on the borderline of like perfumey body care, definitely like a fresh floral, but not powdery or overpowering or anything it was really pretty maybe it's because it's that, that beautiful day type which i've definitely had in body lotion so maybe it's reminding me of that i don't think it's a like dead on dupe of bath and body works um beautiful day but then again there's like a lot of other scent notes in this but wow i am so impressed with this after it cured, cured a few more months I think I'd definitely pick this up again. Maybe not initially right now, but for sure if this comes around in the spring or summer, I would get more. So I don't know if I said scent was like a four or five. I really liked it. Um, throw was like a four or five the second time around when I warmed it later on after letting it cure more. The next one is strawberry pound cake cookie jar. I love this scent. I just hauled this in one of my like vlogs from like a week ago. I just bought this in a loaf size because I love it so much. When I bought that loaf, I used the rest of this because I didn't want to use it before I had a backup. Um, this is great on cold. It's so much better on warm. I just feel like it's so good. The strawberry definitely comes out stronger on warm. This lasts all day, if anything, well into like a second day. Um, if you love Strawberry Pound Cake Bakery, I definitely suggest trying this out for sure. Um, it did so well in my office. So my office that I'm filming in right now, any scent that's going in here does amazing. I think it's just, it's because it's our smallest room. Um, the light shines in this window really strongly usually during the day. So this room always stays a little bit hotter than all the other rooms in our apartment. 
And I feel like that is a combination that makes the scent throw really strong. So um, yeah, it's absolutely like fabulous in the office. I will say when I did this in kind of my living room open concept kind of an area, it wasn't as strong, the scent throw. It wasn't as good. It didn't last as long. So that's just kind of like something to note that like this is a powerhouse for me in one of my rooms and it's just okay in other rooms. So if something's not performing super well for you, I definitely suggest trying it out in a different warmer, in a different area of your house. You know, that can all affect scent throw. So, all right, sorry, I had to go get more water. I am like so thirsty right now. And I was thinking as I was filling up my water cup, I'm like, why am I so thirsty right now? We went to Costco earlier today, just got a few like things we wanted to stock up on, like um, to, we, get, we get the like Sonicare toothbrush heads there. I got some like shampoo. But anyway, I was like, that is why I had a huge like slice of pepperoni pizza from Costco. You know how you can get like it in the area right as you're checking out. That is why because that piece of pizza is like huge. It's like as big as your head. I ate that in the car ride home. So I'm like, that is why I'm so thirsty because pizza is like so salty. But anyway. I'm back. Um, let's then jump into just kind of these like random sort of like one-off or like barely any, you know, from certain vendors. So the first one is from Nerdy Wax Company, Space Mountain Grape and Lavender Cotton. Um, I got this from a mystery bag or something. I don't know. Um, this one was actually really good. I did get a tiny bit of that lavender cotton on cold, but when you warm this, it is pure grape. Pure grape. It smells like a grape like blow pop or grape lollipop. It's really good, actually. This is my only grape scent that I've ever had with wax, and I, I do really like it. I'd consider getting another grape um, scent. I just, I'm not like, I don't think I'd repurchase from this vendor. It's not like my favorite or anything, but... I will say I did enjoy this one. This I put as a scent like a three or four and the throw was like, the throw was like a three on element and bulb warmers, but then the tea light, I remember doing this when I first got the scent on a tea light and it was really strong, like four or five. So it was good. It was like a few different, like, I want to say like planet shapes, um, but yeah. Um, I have two from Columbia Candle Supply. One's Peaches and Cream. Um, this one was fine. I just don't think I love peaches. I think this could have gone a little bit longer before I changed it, but I just, I didn't really love it. So I was kind of like, if I don't love it, I'm just going to change it. Um, so this I put as a scent like two, a throw of this was like two or three. It was very okay, but maybe it was because I didn't love the scent. The next one was Strawberry Guava Soda. This one was really good, very pretty. You definitely got that strawberry fizzy kind of a scent. Um, I don't think I got guava as much, definitely strawberry and the fizzy soda. This I did in my bathroom. I like strawberry. I'm not like a huge soda or fizzy fan, but I can appreciate it every now and again. I would probably say this was like a three for me but the throw was like a four or five. It lasted a really long time and it smelled really strong. One from American Made Wax Co. Don't you know, citrus blends, a hint of mint, lavender, juniper, berries, amber, and woods. I got this in some, oh no, wait, I think I did purposely purchase this because this was part of her like touring America bundle. And I wanted to get this one because it was the Minnesota one. Um, Basically, I wasn't warming this just because it was Minnesota. I thought it was special, but I was like, you know what? I kind of just want to get rid of it, to be honest. Um, this was good. I mean, it smelled a little bit cologne-like, um, slightly masculine. I feel like maybe it's coming from like the amber and woods is what I was smelling. Definitely got no mint, no lavender, no berries, no citrus. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was nice on cold light it was probably like a two um and then throw was probably like a one or two like I it was again one of those where like I kind of smelled it when my face was like right up in the warmer but if you were more than like 
you know, six inches away, I just don't feel like I smelled anything. The next one is um, one from Little Blue Coop Soap. Um, it's too bad. I almost purchased again from them, but um, I don't know. It's funny how like sometimes shipping matters to me and sometimes it doesn't. I feel like when I'm not going to purchase that much, much wax, if the shipping is like a third of the price, I just won't do it. Um, I was going to purchase again just like two bakery bags of something, but the shipping just was so expensive for two items. I just, I just held back and didn't purchase, but I do, I like what I warm. I'm not like, you know, super, super crazy about it, but I enjoy it and I'd like to repurchase again at some point. Um, so this was Jack. This was like a um, snap bar. This was um, pumpkin cupcake, pumpkin milkshake, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. This was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, it was a really nice, you know, light pumpkin bakery scent. Um, it was very pretty. I don't think this was like a powerhouse scent by any means. Um, but it was nice. Like if you had this going when company came over, I don't think anyone would be like, you know, get a headache or not enjoy the scent. Like it wasn't super strong. But sometimes you want that every now and again. Like you don't always want a super strong powerhouse scent. So I would say like scent wise on cold, this was probably like a two or three and then throw wise like a three. And I remember I did that in a tea light and that's kind of my thoughts. Like it wasn't, it wasn't even that strong in a tea light. So one from the pharmacist's daughter, this is Arctic Blast, Icy Peppermint Eucalypt Eucalyptus in Time. This is really strong. Um, almost like medicinal like very herbal on the lines maybe of the Vicks vapor rub um nothing sweet about this nothing bakery nothing offsetting kind of that strong herbally mint scent I think it was like the eucalyptus and thyme maybe I was getting the most because like I like peppermint but this was like very strong pure mint my husband liked it he likes those super strong no sweetness just mint like gonna clear your nose like if you're sick you have a cold or flu like you just you know you don't want anything pretty you just want something strong to like clear out your nose this is it i prefer more of like a strong mint scent with a bit of bakery or a strong mint scent with some lavender like offsetting a little bit um, so for me, the scent was more like a two to three. My husband, he probably would say this is like a four or five throw. This was really strong, like a four or five. I have those three warmers in our bedrooms and I always have the same scent going in all of them. So typically we can smell it when we walk in the room. Um, it was really good and really strong at first for the first couple hours. I don't know what it is though, like after... A few hours, maybe it's like the icy peppermint scent kind of dies down and something almost smells like just a little bit like BO to me a little bit. Like, I don't know why, but it's just like there's something a little off putting after like maybe one of these scent notes die down and it's something else is coming out stronger. I just don't love it. So I'll have this in for a few hours. It'll be strong. It'll be great. But once it starts wearing off. I just get some weird scent that I don't particularly love, but right away, the first couple hours, it's pretty good. I don't think I'd repurchase this unless my husband really wants it, but I feel like there are other nose clearing pure mint scents that I'd get over that one, but it was strong. Um, the next one is Strawberry Clouds. This is from Soul's Inspiration, Strawberry Pound Cake Type and Boardwalk Marshmallow Cloud Type. Um, this was like a souffle, I want to say really nice. I mean, there's nothing too much to say about it. Um, it's, um, you know, it was strawberry pound cake, but mellowed out because of the boardwalk marshmallow clouds. Personally, I think I'd rather just have strawberry pound cake by itself. Like I, I would rather have a powerhouse strawberry pound cake scent than a mellowed down strawberry pound cake scent, but it was good. I mean, it smelled like how you'd expect. I'd probably say the scent was like a three or four and the throw was like a three. I wish it was, I wish it was stronger, but I think the Boardwalk Marshmallow Cloud like calmed it down, which I actually don't want Strawberry Pound Cake to be calmed down. Um, 
The next two I have are from um, Rose Girls. I feel like I need to like pick it up a little bit because I still have quite a bit from like some other vendors. Um, so the first one is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Birthday Cake. This was a four mini melter sampler bag that I got in one of my orders. Oh my gosh, I loved it. This is why vendors like I appreciate when they send samples because I loved this. I repurchased this because of the sample. I just loved it. I did one cube on a tea light. I just literally love like I, I all I wrote is love scent was like a five. It's really not that unique, but just something about it. It's, it's just great. Um, I will say on the tea light, and this is because it's a tea light, the scent longevity didn't last super long. But when I did it on Element and Bulb Warmers, I feel like it lasted all day. So yeah, I, I really like it. I got two more bags of that and I have like um, a squirrel or some kind of shape of it from the Halloween sampler. And then I have Strawberry Cookie Land. This was a muffin, a chunk muffin that I got this past summer. Um, I really liked this, super yummy, really reminiscent to me of Southbound Strawberry Pound Cake ch Cookie Jar. Like, I feel like these two are like really similar. Um, I, I didn't really get the pretzel note in this one, which I'm actually kind of glad. I'd prefer like a cookie bakery scent note over like a pretzel savory note. But yeah, it was great. These are, again, very online with each other. If I had to pick between the two, I kind of feel like I prefer the strawberry pound cake cookie jar from Southbound a little bit more. Um, like this one I rated scent and throw five out of five for both. This one I rated scent and throw like four out of five, um, like four slash five, I should say, um, for the scent. And then the tea light warmer, it was like a four slash five. Bulber element, I feel like this the throw is more like a three slash four. So I just, I think I like this, a, a, you know, a hair more, but they're both really good. And I would also consider repurchasing this one. Um, but I do have one more mini muffin of this because I got it also in my big kahuna box, which I'm happy about. All right. The next vendor I'm going to go over is Broadway Wax. So we only actually have two vendors left, I think, Broadway Wax and L3. So let's go through Broadway Wax. The first one is I Can Make You a Man Strawberry Pound Cake Cupcakes at Tiffany's and Frosted Animal Cookies. I really like this one. This came in my, um, oh my gosh, it's, I'm blanking. It was a mystery box. Um, ah, what was it? Um, I can think of it. Oh, oh no, let me look it up really quick because that's going to bother me. It was the Rocky Horror Picture Show um, themed mystery box. Um, I loved it. It came with four hearts. I wish it came with more. Um, I will say though, I didn't really get the strawberry pound cake. I think it was the cupcakes at Tiffany's and Frosted An Animal Cookies stronger. Um, but yeah, I really loved this. It was beautiful. It was like a really pretty like Tiffany blue color. Um, I loved it. I mean, this isn't one like I'm not heartbroken if I can't get this one again. But if I saw it on her website, I'd probably pick another one up. I'd say the scent was like a four and the throw for me was like a four. So pretty good. The next one I have is Sweet Transvestite. Again, this is from that um, same sub box. Rainbow Sherbet, or Sherbet, Hawaiian Punch, Ginger Lime, and Mar Maraschino Cherries. This one was really good. I liked it. The scent was like a three slash four and the throw was like a five. Her cherry scents are really good. This was very strong, very like candy-like to me. Um, her cherry scents really strongly give me a cherry lollipop vibe or like a cherry candy vibe. Definitely not medicine-like at all, but they all give me kind of a cherry sucker vibe. Um, but I feel like I did get something a little tropical, something a little like lime-like. So I think I was getting that lime or maybe Hawaiian punch scent in this, but definitely cherry strong. Um, on the same lines, 
We have my lipsticks Poppin, Palo Santo, Maraschino Cherry, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Sugar Cookies. Anytime she has a cherry blend, again, this is Maraschino Cherry again. Um, the cherry is what comes out number one on warm. On cold, I feel like I did get that pa Palo Santo a little bit, but on warm, it was like a pure cherry Tootsie Pop scent, which I like. It's just her cherry scents just seem to really take over. Um, so scent was like a three, throw was like a four, really strong. Another one, Circus Show House Cherry Blend Cotton Candy Frosted Animal Cookies. I wrote strong on the cherry. I really didn't get like any of the other scent notes come out. Again, it's not medicine-y. It's a really nice candy sweet cherry to me. I'm not sure what the difference is between this house cherry blend and the maraschino cherry because they, they smelled the same on warm to me. Um, but yeah, it was really good. I, I didn't get like a bakery note at all. Just cherry. Scent was like a three or four. Throw was like a five. Then last one, which I was actually really disappointed with, is Baker's Basics Cuppy Cakes Vanilla Sugar Wafers, Vanilla Wafers and Gourmet Sugar Cookie. I thought I was going to love this so much. This was actually two of these bags combined. If you guys saw my haul probably a month ago at this point, I hauled actually two of these and both of them I think had like, was it one or two? I can't remember now, but it was like this big kind of cupcake shape and it was big and I wish I had only gotten one. I just thought I would love it based off of the scent notes, but let me tell you, Baker's Basics is a good name for this one because I feel like this was like legit, like raw ingredients. Like it did not smell like sweet cupcakes, like fresh baked out of the oven or vanilla wafers or like sugar cookies out of the oven. It was more like the the raw ingredients, like just the flour, egg and sugar. Like it just, it was really odd to me. Like I didn't get any sweetness. Like I really, really needed to mix this with things or this was just a bathroom blend. Honestly, I was just trying to use this up. I did not like it. It just, it was so weird. Like I said, it was more like on the lines of like raw ingredients it, it it was it was really interesting to me i'd probably say the scent was like a one like i really didn't like it and i'm i love bakery scents usually the throw was pretty good luckily it wasn't a powerhouse i did smell it though so i'd say this was probably like a three but again this is one where i was like oh my gosh i feel like it's taking forever for me to use it up because i don't really enjoy it unfortunately all right, then let's wrap up with um, L3. So the first one is just, it was like a sample of Top Gun, um, which is like a um, clean, like, I don't know what steel is, but I think it's like stainless steel or steel or something is in the scent notes. This kind of smelled like on the lines to me of like a men's body care kind of a scent. And this was great. I mean, sometimes for samples, you get a, a piece and it's just tiny. Like, I don't... I'm just, I'll put it in the warmer, but I'm not going to be able to review it because it's so small, you know? This was a pretty decent, like, I think it was one of her, like, square chunks. And um, this threw in the bathroom for two days. I didn't change it. I didn't feel the need to. It was really good. Um, like, strong. I don't know if I'd repurchase this scent, though. Like, for me, it was like a two or three on the scent. And then the throw, though, was like a four. Really strong. But it's just... I don't know if it's my exact kind of a scent, but it was good. Um, the next one is pump, or Mac Apple Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This was a bougie bar that I had. Um, and literally all it was was Mac Apple. I just, I feel like L3's blends, if there's Mac Apple in the scent notes, like that's all I get. Which is fine. I like Mac Apple, but... I like pumpkin pecan waffles better, so I wish I smelled that. Um, you know, maybe pumpkin pecan waffles came out just a little bit, but I I don't know. I think it was Mac Apple heavy. Um, the scent to me was like a two or three. It would have been higher if I smelled the pumpkin pecan waffles, 
but it was super strong when I did this on the tea light it was a five out of five and the bulb and element warmers it was like a four so it was really strong another bougie bar cider donuts type I don't like l3 cider so yeah I, I didn't really like this if you like l3 cider you'd love it but to me, this doesn't smell like other vendors' cider. I just, it's really strange to me. I don't, I don't enjoy her cider lane. Um, but yeah. So this was probably like a one or two on the scent and then like four or five on the tea light, three or four on the bulb. So, I mean, it performed well. I just didn't love the scent. Last bougie bar, I think, unless I have more. Um, is Predator Leaves Palo Santo Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I actually have this going right now. Um, it's good. I feel like on cold, it's a good mixture of all three. Like, I do feel like I smelled the leaves. I do feel like I smelled the Palo Santo, and I do feel like I smelled the pumpkin pecan waffles. On warm, though, to me, it was leaves heavy. I don't feel like I got Palo Santo as much, and I don't feel like pumpkin pecan waffles came out. It just kind of smelled like leaves. Um, I like her leaf scent, but I wish I had smelled more of the other notes on warm so to me because it was just leaves and nothing else it was like a two it would have been high if I smelled more the throw is good though I mean I have this going on two tea light warmers so I'd be shocked if the throw wasn't good um and then in a few element and bulb warmers also throughout my living room so yeah I'd say this is good like probably like a four on the tea lights and like a three probably on the bulb or elements um, the next one is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Fresh Picked Strawberries. Here's my notes. Um, so here's what it looks like. Let me tell you, I really like this. I was super close to doing a customs order of this blend, but I ended up not doing that um, because I don't know. I like I still love my pumpkin pecan, or no, my strawberry and zucchini bread more than this. So I ended up going with those kind of scent blends, but this one was strong. This is one of those that threw for like two days in the warmer. Really strong. This is actually the one that made me realize I like pumpkin pecan waffles. So yeah, it reminded me so much of my strawberry zucchini blend, like so much. Um... One night, my husband, I asked him how he liked it, and he had a little bit of a headache. And so I think that this scent bothered him because it was a really strong powerhouse scent. He actually turned off the warmer by his desk. Um, and he's like, it smells like Cheetos. And I'm actually wondering if that's because pumpkin pecan waffles, to me, smells like zucchini bread. And zucchini bread, to some people, smells like corn chips. And Cheetos is like a corn corn-based crunchy chip right or crunch crunchy puff so I kind of think like maybe that makes sense why he was smelling Cheetos I didn't get that note at all and when I melted it again like you know however like a few weeks later he said he really liked it and he didn't smell Cheetos anymore so I think maybe like he just didn't feel super well that night and this kind of like extra bothered him but um I mean I really liked it and he liked it the second time I warmed it. I would consider getting this again. This was in a cloud cake. I'd consider getting it again for sure. Um, if I ever saw it, you know, in a pop-up or something. Um, did I say the scent was like a four, four or five and the throw was like a five out of five? The next one is Aunt's Jam Filled Jelly Rolls. This is great. I love it. I love L3 Strawberry Jam a lot. I actually got this in a mystery box and I love it. I've already repurchased this one in a Bitty Betty Loaf again already. Um, it's awesome. It's like strawberry jam, cream cheese, frosting, um, I don't know, a few other scent notes, but it's great. I love it. If you love Strawberry Bakery, give this one a try. It's different than Fresh Picked Strawberries and like Strawberry Pound Cake. Like it's definitely a distinct strawberry note but i love it it's really great super strong scent to me was like a four out of five or a four or five throw was like a four or five and again i've already repurchased it thriller blueberry pumpkin patch cheesecake this is really weird um 
I just wasn't expecting this. Like I thought I was going to get more blueberry, blueberry bakery scent, like blueberry with that cheesecake, but the pumpkin patch, I think that's the note that's throwing my nose off a little bit because it almost is smelling like a smoky hay to me. Um, I kind of use this to get rid of it. Like I don't really like that deep smoky, it's not like a smoky campfire, it's like a hay to me, which is that because of the pumpkin patch, like the patch part of it, like the hay surrounding the pumpkins. Um, I mean, I maybe smelled like a deep smoky blueberry, but it's definitely, definitely not like a fresh, bright, you know, blueberry bakery or fresh blueberry. Like it's, it's a deep, deep note. I'm not sure. I didn't really like it. The scent to me was like probably a one or two. The throw was like a three. I definitely smelled that like smoky hay note. Um, I mean, I don't know. That's just what my nose picks up. Uh, I mean, hay is not in the scent note, but it's just what I get. I would not repurchase this, but I actually do have another wax item of this in like a matrix melt or something. So after I go through that, I don't think I'd repurchase this again, but um, I don't know. I just wish it was more of like a blueberry cheesecake scent. Not so much that smoky deep note. Um, two from my L3's leaves sampler. These were the chunky bunts. The first one is Han shot first. It's true cider lane, fresh baked bread and leaves. I just don't like Cider Lane, um, but to be fair, this one to me leaned more on the apple, leaned, leaned more on like an apple and maybe a little bit of cinnamon note, and I think it's because of the leaves. I think I was smelling leaves and more of a fresh apple note, which I'm glad about, um, I, d I did not get a fresh baked bread note, and I'm happy to say I didn't get too much of a cider note, so this wasn't bad, a solid fall scent, but I don't think I'd repurchase this just because I don't like cider, cider lane from L3, and this one happened to be lighter on that blend, but who knows if I get another one, if it ends up being heavier on the cider lane, I don't like cider lane from L3, so I mean this was fine, it wasn't like super strong blow you out of the house, at least for me. Um, I'd say the scent to me was like a two or three, like it was good and I enjoyed it. I just don't feel like I'd repurchase this. And the throw was like, you know, mediocre. I had it on a tea light and to me it still wasn't that strong. It was like a three and bulb and elements like a two. So not a powerhouse, but it was nice. Then I have Season of the Witch, which is like a super popular blend of hers, apples and leaves. This was really good. I feel like everyone knows this and has probably tried this. You definitely get the apples and you do get the leaves. Perfect, you know, fall scent. Um, I liked it. You know, it's not like an absolute favorite, but just a really solid, like, go-to good fall blend if you don't know. You know, if you're like, what do I want to melt today? Like, oh, I'll just put this on, you know, nice fall blend. And I actually just chopped up a full loaf of Season of the Witch. So, so I have a good amount um, to work with um for the rest of the fall season who knows maybe I'll even carry it into next year I, I don't feel like I'm gonna go through it super fast but good blend to have then I have two from the Hufflepuff sampler this one's pumpkin pecan waffle sugar cookie royale and Hufflepuff this was by far I mean I think I might still have like one or two Hufflepuff blends still from that sampler but by far, this is my favorite that I've warmed so far, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be my favorite out of the bundle. I love it. <clears throat> I feel like I definitely got the pumpkin pecan waffles in this one, and maybe lightly the other notes, but pumpkin pecan waffles heavy, and I really liked it. The scent to me was like a 5 out of 5. The throw was like a 4 to 5. Longevity, though, this confused me a little bit. I feel like it didn't last very long. Um... I mean, a solid couple hours, but I feel like I was ready to change it, like, even before, like, even before, like, halfway through the day. I don't know. So, longevity of her little samplers, for some reason, I just don't feel like they, they, um, last that long. Then we have sugared shortbread buttercream frosting Hufflepuff. 
again from the Hufflepuff sampler. At first I didn't think I was smelling much when I warmed this, um, but then I did definitely start noticing kind of a buttery note. Um, so I think that was the sugared shortbread and the buttercream that I was smelling. I don't think this was as heavy on the Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff note in this one, but I did like it. I do think I like her sugared shortbread and buttercream frosting. I liked it. I, I feel like it was still a good amount sweet, but I feel like this could lean just a little too buttery for some people, but I did still enjoy it. I feel like I'd consider getting this again, or at least, you know, getting a blend with these same scent notes in it again. I'd say the scent was like a three or four to me, and the throw was like... I said two slash three, but now I kind of feel like it, it was probably a three. Like, I, I remember smelling it, but again, just longevity-wise, it wasn't like super crazy. Just a few more. Grindle Grindelwald. This one's really, really good and actually surprised me. I think this is like her, um, let me look it up really quick because I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but, um, this really surprised me on warm. It was like extremely sweet on cold. I thought it was like even too much for me sweetness wise, which usually doesn't happen because I like really sweet. Um, this is vanilla beans, creme brulee, and adipose. So, um, yeah, it was, it was very sweet. Um, but I feel like it smelled so good on warm. I don't know. I did this on a tea light. It was like a five out of five throw. Um, bulb and element warmers was probably like a four out of five of throw and scent to me was probably like a three or four. So pretty strong. I, I did. I, it surprised me. I did really like this. I don't know if it's something that I like have to like buy repurchase right away but I feel like if I saw it again like I'd maybe buy it after I go through some of my wax I have currently but it was good and I definitely enjoyed it. Um, the next one I have is Palo Santo, Palo Santo Zucchini Bread Vanilla Bean Noel and Vanilla Wafers. This was really good. I definitely liked it but there was just something that I started smelling, it came out more a few hours after I warmed it, that I'm just not sure that I loved. And I'm pretty sure it was the Palo Santo. Um, like at first I definitely got the, the zucchini bread and the other bakery notes, vanilla bean Noel and vanilla wafers, and I loved it. But then, like I said, like after a few hours, I feel like the Palo, the, the I feel like after a few hours, the, the bakery notes die down and the Palo Santo is still strong. So I don't know. I mean, I did like it, but I just feel like because of the Palo Santo note, just something about it, I just feel like my nose needs to get used to that scent. Um, so I'd say the scent was like a three and the throw was like, honestly, it was probably like a four or five. It was pretty strong. I like it. I just, I just don't know if I'd get this mix again with the Palo Santo. I don't know. I have a whole loaf of Palo, of, um, not Palo Santo, but of today is October 3rd. So I'm just curious to see like, if I like that, like if I like Palo Santo or not. Last one of the video, Cider Donuts, um, Malo Fireside and Candy Corn. I don't know. There's not much to say. I, I just, I'm not like a huge fan of L3 cider. So um, I feel like the cider came out pretty strong on that, this one. So scent to me was like a two, throw was like a three, not super strong. And I probably changed just relatively quick, like after a few hours, cause I just don't love the scent and it wasn't even that strong. So, but yeah, you guys, we finally went through everything. I feel like every video I, uh, I don't know, I just feel like I have so much empties. Maybe I should do these on like a weekly basis instead, but yeah, that was everything I warmed. Let me know if you guys warmed any of the same scents I did or any of the same vendors. What do you think? Um, here's like, this is all going in the trash now and I'll start, I'll start my bin fresh now, but yeah, I'm super excited. I just love like, I love warming wax. I love talking about it with you guys. Um, so yeah, oh my gosh, I just spilled a lot of stuff now, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.